This is Twit. Well, now Android 13 is apparently going to be bringing changes to the back button functionality. Still kind of uncertain exactly what that means, but uh, Michelle Rahman, you know, did some did some diving. Also, there's the uh, the fact that in the schedule for I.O. is an event called Back to the Basics of System Back. So there's going to be an emphasis. I, f- I feel like that's not a that's not a, uh, a talk that's given every year. Like, Android, what's no. new in Android Wear? That's a very specialized thing. So Google's got something up its sleeve for that, right? And then Michelle is piecing together uh, from s- different clues and everything what he's calling a predictive back navigation system and what that may mean. He's not entirely sure what that means, but usually when Google's throwing out the term predictive, it has something to do with AI or has something to do with some under- general understanding about what the user intends to do and so I'm super curious to know what that actually means when you're talking about back button functionality is the system going to guess what I'm wanting when I hit the back button how is the system going to know um I don't know when like does that as from from a developer standpoint and based on your own kind of um uh, your your own hands on with the the craziness, the wonkiness of the back button historically, like does a predictive back button like give you any pause or are you are you curious? What do you think? We're still going to mess it up, y'all. This, I mean, I <laughs> so I I think what'll be interesting and what I would like to see, and I think uh, Michelle and some others have speculated that maybe. This, I mean, so what I'd like to say, okay, this is my wish, is that ever since the introduction of like gesture-based navigations, I've been an unhappy person just because of the, but both both as like, you know, me as a user and me as a devel- developer has have not been really crazy about the gesture, the, the, gest- the back gesture navigation with how it works and how it tends to, you know, conflict depending on your app and your navigation. Yeah. And I, I think it'd be a really good solution because that back navigation is sure as heck not going away. It would be really nice if, if, if machine learning could help the system anticipate whether the user means navigate within the app or go or actually hit the system back. That's what I would love. And that's what all I really need from kind of the uh, Michelle's analysis. I still feel like there's lots of room for developers to mess it up because basically at any time at all, we can override what the back button does. Like that, that's probably, it's both a good thing and a bad thing in that. And I, I think to go back to what you stated about why the back button seems to have always been an issue is that the guidelines are a little unclear. We had this like murky bit in the middle where Google was trying to distinguish like up behavior versus back behavior. And I've always explained that is like the back button is like the back on your browser and like up, which also was a left pointing arrow for years and years and years. And I guess still technically is in the <laughs> toolbar is yeah. more like, think of it like a breadcrumb on your website where it's more like not like uh, organizational hierarchical. So there's been all this confusion and users get and devs can at any point just override the damn damn dang thing and do whatever they want. Nothing take you to Timbuktu wherever you want to go. And so I don't think that's changing too much. And it, it kind of has to it kind of has to remain as is, mostly so that we don't break navigation for you know the many 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 of us who have ever done that. Mm. Me, uh, other places. <laughs> but I would like to see that in terms of like the conflict and the collision with the back gesture. And I do like I think they talked about the animations, which is kind of been a big focus right. of 12 and just in general and making that a little more intuitive. Like I think a lot of things that are missing and a lot of things that I know is missing in apps that I've written, but also in general is just the idea of like people being able to make sense of things, especially navigation. And I think that na- animation has the potential to do that. And so adding cues, like visual cues that allow people to kind of glean a little bit easier what's what the heck is happening is great. So I'd love to see that. And I'd love to see machine learning be able to tell the difference between when I want to open up, you know, Instagram's like stories, or I just want to get the heck back. So that's my guess. Um, and I, but I don't think, I don't see them really, it, it's, it, I will say, I will very surely say it's impossible for machine learning to fix dev dev mistakes with the back button, y'all. It's just not going to happen. Um, right. And I'm sorry, on behalf of all devs, I'm very sorry. <laughs> um, I could talk for hours about we've, it. It's, it's, very, it's a fascinating it problem. Point. We've gotten beaten yeah. down so much, we're just kind of used to it. I mean, uh, Eric Duckman in chat says, 
get rid of it. Be the same as iOS. How do you feel about that, uh, Adam? Like, if, if uh, Android was to suddenly get rid of the back, I don't think that's ever going to happen. I mean, maybe someday, no. but that's a huge shift for that to happen. Mm. But what do you think? On the contrary, on on my Twitter feed, I have been a big proponent of Apple inst instituting the back button because, you know, b the gestures between iOS and Android at this point are barely similar. So, and, and you know, I use both operating systems on a regular basis. So whenever I'm using an iPhone, I find myself flicking the, the, court, the side of the, the, the app often when I want to go back and it never works and it drives me nuts and I really want that to work. And I also want a number row in iOS. Please, Apple, listen to us. Anyway, <laughs> um, so, but no, I mean, logistically speaking, I can see exactly what Wynn's talking about. Like, how does, how would, how would Android know what you want this back gesture to be? And I mean, even if, like, like, like when said, like, we don't even know what it's going to do. Google doesn't know what it's going to do. Nobody knows, <laughs> Nobody knows what this back button <laughs> is going real. to do. It's true. <laughs> Nobody panic. Everything's fine. Okay. Um, but yeah, so, I mean, I could definitely see how I would love to see some type of, I don't know. Am, am I just like so jaded that when I hit the back button and it accidentally closes the app, I just reopen it and keep going on with well, my Well, yeah, game. we've Maybe adapted at this point. Yeah, yeah you know I, think, I, mean? I think that's just got to be what it is. Yeah. So, but yeah, that's I, that's yeah. my thought. I want Apple to bring the back button, uh, the back gesture, and I don't want Android to get rid of it. And if yeah. one of them does I don't think that's that, gonna happen. that'll be, yeah. But this is an interesting question to ponder. Like, oh yeah, could that happen? Nah, I don't think it's going to happen.